Hey, what's up guys? My name is Evan Ulbricht and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to get into sports photography as a college student. So first off, I'm going into sophomore year in college and I got my job as a freshman. So I kind of want to tell you guys how I kind of got that. So first off, I was in my business class and we were kind of talking about LinkedIn and connecting with people. And I was on LinkedIn kind of looking around and I saw this photographer and I was like, oh, like kind of why is he on my, you know, connections page? So I went on there and it turns out he was one of the athletic photographers from the college that I go to, Point Loma. So I messaged him and I was like, hey, like how did you get this job and stuff? And the first thing that he told me to was make a portfolio and then reach out to uh, the head of the sports. So that's what I did. So I'm going to show you guys my portfolio right here. So this is the portfolio that I sent them because I didn't have a portfolio yet. So I kind of made one and I actually didn't have any like actually sports photos. I had surfing and landscape photos. So I made this one in like 20 minutes and then sent it over to the athletic director or the, I think he's like the communications athletic director or something like that. Like he's the head of communications for it, which is who you should reach out to, which, uh, yeah, it worked out for me, but here is what I made. So you guys don't have to have a crazy portfolio. All you need is somewhere to have all your photos right here. Like this is the home. So I kind of have everything. So I have landscapes right here. I have, you know, this, these guys surfing some right here, portraits and yeah, this is, yeah. So it took me probably like 20, 30 minutes to make this kind of just threw all my best photos in here. And that, as you can see, most of these photos are even from the same session, like these right here are all from the same session and all these, like these guys right here, these are all the same session and I don't have a lot of photos. So you guys don't have to make, you know, you guys don't have to wait to make a professional portfolio before you start asking for jobs and stuff. Because, you know, if I saw this, I would be like, what is this guy doing? Because this is not amazing. And like, there's some of these photos just, I don't even know. I kind of just threw in there. Like, I'm pretty sure this one was taken with my phone. Like you could tell this is just <laughs> not a high quality photo. So you guys don't have to, you know, wait and make these perfect portfolios, you know, have this crazy cool design or anything like that. But I just kind of wanted to show you what my first portfolio was. And this was to get into athletic photography. And I have no photos of anyone doing like athletics, like playing sports or anything like that. They're just surfing photos and landscape photos. And I still got the job. So maybe if you guys even think that you're not going to get the job, it still makes sense to show them your portfolio and say, like, Hey, like check out my portfolio. And like, if you need anyone, then, you know, hit me up because you know, obviously it works out for some people and it worked out for me. And I kind of wanted to show you guys what my portfolio went from this last year to now having a year in sports. And so this is my website right now that I made and my portfolio right here. So this is my new portfolio and it looks a lot cleaner, obviously a lot more photos. And you can see, you know, the titles are super nice, which you really want. Cause if someone's looking at your photos, they're gonna be like, Oh, Here's a surf photography and then you scroll down and right here you got sports. So right here, these are all the sports photos that I got last year. Got this one in England, super cool shot. But you can see how, you know, I didn't have a lot of sports photos before, but now since I was a year into it, now I have a lot of these. So if I want a different job in like sports or like go to a different college or something, then I could do stuff like that. And then landscapes are here and obviously got a lot of new photos for landscapes as well. And for portfolios, you only want to have your best photos. Like last year, I probably took like a hundred thousand sports shots because you're just firing away. And like with the Canon R5 and stuff, it takes like 20 photos a second or something crazy. So you're getting a ton of photos, but you only want photos that really stand out like perfect photos. Like this one, he's centered. It's a great photo. And that's, I only took a couple, kept a couple from this track meet like this one, but I got a lot of photos there. I probably took almost 20,000 photos just at that one track meet because it was two days long and there's a championships. So, I mean, I was taking a ton of photos and out of my portfolio, I probably have, I have three on here. So I have this one, I have this one, and then I have this one from that. So I've took three photos from that whole championships track meet, which is just may seem a little bit crazy and be like, Oh, like obviously I wasn't getting that good of photos but I just wanted to make sure that you're only putting the best photos that you have on your portfolio. 
because if I apply for a job, let's say for you know a surf company or something, a surfboard company, and like, hey, like we want you to get some photos of our new surfboards, then I'll send them this and be like, hey, like check out my surf photography portfolio. And obviously I'm not gonna have any like okay photos on there if I'm trying to get a good job for surfing. Like all these photos are great. Like this one will be good good for a surfboard and different stuff like that. And like close-ups, which like obviously you want, you don't want to have, you know, an okay photo or something, or like these wave photos. I only have a couple in here, but they're these I feel like are my best wave photos. Like that is super cool, and I feel like a lot of companies will like just love seeing that and stuff like that. And I don't have a lot of just waves, which like but I only have the ones that I really love and not just, you know, okay ones that I took on my GoPro or whatever a while ago. And also, so um, I also worked in Ironman, a half Ironman in Boulder, which is where I live over the summer. So I was trying to look into how to get jobs and stuff over summer. And I was like, this is like super hard because obviously I have a job as a sports photographer at my college but I wanted to make sure that I had a job over summer too. So there's a ton of different ways to do this, but the one thing that I did was there's an app or a website called Finisher Picks, and right here, so let's see. So jobs right here, so that's what the one that I did last weekend for the Ironman. And so it tells all your jobs like that are close to you. So I live in Boulder right next to the reservoir, like a mile away. So all these like Boulder Reservoir uh, things right here are popping up for me since they're close. So right here, $300 from 6.15 a.m. to 2 p.m. And it's a mile away because it's across the street from me. So you just say you're available. So you just click here, processing. Uh, and then it'll be like, oh, availability set. And then they'll reach out to you if they want to hire you, which is super nice because it's an easy way to make some money. Even if you have a you know, normal job during the week, these are usually on the weekends anyways. Uh, they're a little bit early usually for like races and stuff, but it's totally worth it because my last race I did a boulder, uh, the half Ironman, and it was I made 325 bucks in the beginning of that day, which is super nice. It was on a Saturday too, so if I, I don't have a normal job during this summer and stuff, but if I did, then I could also do that during the week and then do these on the weekend. And that would be super good, but yeah, just for another like, way to get jobs and stuff for photographers. This helped build up your portfolio. And I got a couple super cool shots from that actually, like this one, love that shot. That's probably one of my favorite landscape shots that I've gotten so far. But yeah, there's plenty of different ways to you know make money and stuff. Like I also sell prints and stuff on my website, which if you guys wanna see kind of how I made this website, then I can definitely make a video on that. But there's definitely a ton of ways to do this. You know, you got different prints and stuff and then you market them through Instagram, YouTube, and just all that stuff. Reaching out to people on LinkedIn, like I've reached out to a bunch of big like major teams and stuff to do photography for. So during football season, I'll be also doing photography for USD football, which are D1, which is pretty cool, and maybe even San Diego State. And this is just from reaching out to different people, maybe players or you know athletic directors and just seeing kind of what they're gonna say and worst thing that happens is that they say no. So I mean, there's really no bad thing to it. And what I actually did was I had an email that I kind of had set and I just sent it to out to like 10 or 20 people. And then just like a couple of them responded, a couple of them didn't. And, but a couple of them responded from USD and now I'm working there for football during that season, which is super cool and gonna be a super great opportunity. And I wouldn't have gotten that if I didn't email them because I was scared for them to say no. And you know, I got denied by San Diego State. I don't even think they responded to me. And I applied to the Broncos training camp and to do photos for them. They never responded to me and a couple other big teams like that. So I mean, don't worry about being rejected or anything because the worst thing they can say is no. And the best thing that can happen is you get a job or a cool opportunity to work with some cool people or cool teams or whatever you wanna do like that. Like I've also reached out to um, a bunch of big companies and stuff in San Diego for photography and a couple of them reached back out to me and were like, hey, like if we ever have a project, we'll definitely let you know, which is super cool because down the road, you know, if I need a job or something, they might reach out to me and then be like, hey, like uh, we remember you from a while ago and you emailed us, like, can you come work with us on a project or something, which is super cool and just leaving the door open for different opportunities. So yeah. That's kind of the big thing is just leaving the door open for different opportunities, 
Make sure you're reaching out to people. I DM people on Instagram, Twitter, kind of whatever. And just keep reaching out to people, ask questions, because most of the time, most people are super friendly and will respond to you. And if they don't, then they don't respond to you. And that's kind of it. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. This was super fun to kind of make and talk about. And I'll probably make more videos kind of like this when uh, after this year, because I'll be uh, two years into sports photography and I've learned a lot more. And yeah, just want to kind of talk to you guys about that. And I'll also probably make some videos on doing USD football because that's going to be a super cool opportunity. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and comment what you learned. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next video. Thank you.